evening everyone here's an optocoupler circuit right here and in order to turn on this yellow LED current has to flow from plus 5 volt DC through the 180 ohm resistor through the anode cathode junction of that yellow LED through the phototransistor that's turned on and to turn on the phototransistor we have to apply a positive voltage on the anode and its ground of that positive voltage to the cathode and photons are emitted from that LED into the base of that phototransistor driving it into conduction and allowing current flow through the yellow LED through the collector emitter junction to ground of that 5 volt DC. The out here would go to 0 volts. Now in order to do that we have to put a positive voltage up here and the ground of that positive voltage right here. But what would happen if I reverse the polarity? and had ground up here and positive volts DC down here. Well that would reverse bias that LED and it would not work. It would not emit photons. So let's design a circuit that will allow me to accidentally reverse bias that input. Let's go look at it. Now here's the circuit. The bridge rectifier is the key to this circuit right here. Regardless of whether we have plus 12 volt DC up here and ground down here or ground up here and 12 volt DC down here, the bridge rectifier corrects the polarity into the anode cathode of that optocouplers LED. Now these LEDs are just indicators of the polarity input to these two points right here. They don't need to be in this final circuit. They were there just to show us whether this was positive up here and ground down here which would illuminate this green LED or positive down here and ground up here which would reverse bias the green LED and forward bias the red LED turning the red LED on. Let's look at how the bridge rectifier corrects the polarity of the incoming DC voltage to the LED of that 4N35 optocoupler. If I've got 12 volts on this input right here and ground on this input right here and I push the on button, 12 volts is applied to the green LED and ground on the cathode and the green LED turns on. But watch this, here's the key to this circuit over here. Current flows through the switch through this forward bias diode, here's AC1 at this junction right here, it flows through this forward bias diode right here and out the positive side of the bridge rectifier through the LED inside the optocoupler and back through here and through this forward bias diode and out AC2 terminal of the bridge rectifier back to ground. Okay, now remember this direction into the optocoupler LED. We need to flow in this direction. Now watch the magic. We've reversed the polarity in here. Now 12 volts is down here 
ground is up here. We push the on button and we apply plus 12 volts to the anode of the red LED and the cathode being connected back to ground now up on this side and the red LED illuminates. But watch this. That current flows up through the AC2 terminal and now this diode is forward biased. Current's flowing through the one kilo ohm resistor through the anode again. Look at the direction. Cathode, we're still moving in the correct direction. Back through here. Now this diode is forward biased. And we come up through the AC1 terminal of the bridge rectifier. Back to ground. Isn't that amazing? So the bridge rectifier corrects the polarity, the incoming polarity, regardless of whether it's 12 volts up here or ground up here, or 12 volts down here or ground down here, it corrects the polarity to the LED inside that optocoupler. So regardless of the polarity coming in, it will turn on this optocoupler when we push that on off switch. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Now go out, build you a circuit like this and experiment with it. You'll have a lot of fun with that. <laughs> I guarantee it. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun putting this circuit together. Well, there you go, folks. There you go. That's a neat way to put a circuit together that will work in either direction of polarity on the incoming side of that optocoupler. Thank you very much for stopping by. Hope y'all are having a good day. We're having a good day here. And we'll see you next time. Good morning all. Here's our breadboarded circuit that we're going to use to test and prove that the bridge rectifier can correct the polarity of the incoming DC voltage to the proper DC voltage polarity on its output side, regardless of whether we have positive here and ground here, or positive here and ground here, the bridge rectifier, the bridge rectifier will correct the polarity on its output. Let's perform the test. Now for this test, I'm using two power supplies. I'm using a 12 volt DC power supply on the uh, AC1 and AC2 terminals of the bridge rectifier. I'm using a five volt DC power supply on the output side of the optocoupler. When the optocoupler is turned on, this yellow LED will be turned on. These two LEDs over here, the green and red LEDs, tell us the polarity of the 12 volt DC power supply on the AC1 and AC2 terminals of the bridge rectifier. When positive voltage is applied, the green LED will be turned on. When the polarity is reversed so that uh, this side is ground and this side is positive, the red LED will be turned on. And right here is the push button used to apply that 12 volt DC to the AC1 and AC2 terminals of the bridge rectifier. 
positive terminals, uh, the positive terminal and the ground terminal of the bridge rectifier go to the input LED of that optocoupler, current limited by this 1K ohm resistor. Now, let me push the button, and you can see that we've applied positive to this terminal from the 12 volt DC power supply, uh, AC1, and AC2 is that ground potential of that 12 volt DC power supply. We have the green LED on, the input LED is turned on, and the output side of the optocoupler is turned on. Now, we're going to reverse the polarity by swapping the plus 12 volts and ground. Now, AC1 of the bridge rectifier terminal is going to be at ground of that 12 volt DC power supply. And AC2 of that bridge rectifier terminal is going to be at plus 12 volts DC. And now you can see that the red LED is turned on, indicating that we've reversed the polarity. And yet, even though we've reversed the polarity, the yellow LED still turns on. <laughs> Isn't that fascinating? So you can use a bridge rectifier to correct the polarity of the incoming DC voltage. Let's swap them back. We'll do this a couple of times. Now, 12 volts is going to be applied to the AC1 terminal, and the ground of that 12 volt DC power supply is going to be on the AC2 terminal of the bridge rectifier green LED indicating that polarity and the output of the optocoupler is turning on. We'll swap polarity again so that AC1 is of the bridge rectifier terminal is now going to be at ground and AC2 is going to be at plus 12 volts DC. The red LED turns on indicating that polarity. And the yellow LED is still turning on even though we reversed polarity. <laughs> that is neat. That is neat. All right, folks, you can use this little trick right here if you're worried about the polarity to an input being plus to ground or ground to plus. <laughs> that is so neat. Swap them back. I like that. I like that. Okay, folks. I hope you get to use this little trick in the future when you're designing circuits. That make your life a little bit easier where you don't have to worry about how things are hooked up. <laughs> or if you hook things up backward and, and destroy things. With this little circuit, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.